Greetings, fellow adventurers. Welcome to the Awakening Hour podcast for visionary starseeds, lightworkers, and new earth builders who seek to unlock the true potential and embark on epic quest. I'm your host, Jen Fearless Leader at Rise University, the first Choose Your Own Adventure Academy for Light Warriors. As a quantum shaman, Lumerian priestess of the New Earth and Empire Builder, I teach you how to wield the power of magic and wisdom to guide you on your journey of spiritual, personal, and business development. Each week, we'll dive into the mystical realms and ancient wisdom to help you activate your superpowers, find your purpose, and build your empire. Are you ready to awaken your inner hero and claim your destiny? Then, let's set forth and conquer the unknown. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Human Design Advantage podcast. I'm your host, Jen, the Empire Hayoka and headmistress here at Rise University. So if you're ready to dive into topics like soul evolution, new earth building, and personal development, well, get ready. This is the Awakening Hour, episode number eight, and we are on part two of Unlocking Success, Transform Your Business with Onoponopono, Mind Mastery, and Universal Laws. Today is April 12th, 2023. If you missed out on last week's episode of part one, make sure that you go back and listen to that because I'm just going to dive right into part two today. So last week we went over the importance of addressing your memories and subconscious patterns, Onoponopono and its benefit for spiritual entrepreneurs. Introduce the I introduced the practice of Onoponopono and explained its origins. And Raz, who is Raz? What is Raz? And its impact on focus and productivity. So uh, definitely, if you missed part one. Go ahead and check wherever you found this podcast and listen to part one before you dive into part two. Okay, guys? But before uh, we dive into part two, which today we're going to be going over the aligning with universal law laws for business success and practical tips and techniques for implementing these concepts, okay? Um We do have a sponsorship announcement, and of course, it is Rise University, which is my academy for light warriors. Uh, It's your go-to source for everything that you need to uh, thrive as a solopreneur, and we understand at Rise University the challenges and the opportunities that do come with building your empire, and we want to make sure that that aligns with your values and serves a higher purpose because that's what we're here to do, guys. So we created Rise University, which is your first choose your own adventure platform for light warriors that covers personal, spiritual, and business development. We do operate on a seasonal schedule, so we correlate with the changing of the seasons. Uh, You've got staple curriculum that will always stay in there. And then you also have courses that change throughout the different seasons that correlate with what you need to focus on. So it's all about getting back into natural rhythm with the universe around us. It has almost everything that you need to awaken your inner warrior and build an empire with a lasting legacy. Sorry, guys. 
need to clear my throat. Woke up this morning a little bit congested. Definitely feeling the seasons change into spring. That is the season we are currently on, and it is the season of magic. So if you want to definitely check out what we have going on inside of Rise University, which is a whole lot, and there is a whole podcast episode for that, uh, which you can definitely check out. Definitely um, go to our website, which is www.rise, R-I-S-E, I-N-N-E-R-V-E-R-S-I-T-Y.com. Interversity instead of university. You can also find us on Instagram at Rise University and most of our social media platforms. I think every single one of them is at Rise University if you want to check out and see what else we've got going on. So let's dive into today's episode, part two of Unlocking Success and Transform Your Business with Onoponopono, Mind Mastery, and Universal Laws. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite topics to really dive into. It is universal laws are God's laws, guys. They are unavoidable. Uh, they That is the laws that we should be following, not man-made laws. Um, so I love human design because it really tells you who you are, uh, your avatar on an energetic front, and how that energy co-creates with the universe around us. So if you don't know what universal laws are, which we do dive into this topic inside of Rise University, if you're not aware of what those laws are and how that works, then I think people will still continue to struggle. Now, when you have your human design, it uh, you're going to start to experience, or even if you're going through a spiritual path, your shadow self, your not self is going to come up to the surface. And I feel that Onoponopono is an embodiment that everybody should have in their life. Because when you start to do Onoponopono, it really, it will help you start to clear that not self theme, the shadow side, the ego, the, the law of the memory and data that is really running and ruling our lives. That's what's standing in our way from having that connection with the divine. So we really want to get into harmony, not with, not just within ourselves, but as with the universe as a whole, so that we can co-create with the divine and start living on our purpose of why we came here in the first place. So what does it mean with aligning with the universal law for business success? Well, I have found on this journey, and I have actually seen it at play in the collective. I've seen it at play with my mentors, who I've invested lots and lots of money with, um, that there's we have layers upon layers upon layers upon layers of subconscious patterns that run in our head. And last week, we really talked about Raz. And Raz... I call it the secretary in your head, and she sits in that doorway of between the conscious and the subconscious. And if you're not really aware of what subconscious patterns are playing out in your life, and you go into building your empire, well, get ready. Uh, so much is going to come up to the surface. Your self-worth, imposter syndrome, money blocks, uh, really building a strong relationship with your clients. These type of things, which really are not, they're not us guys. That's, that's memory and data that we need to clear out of our system. And Raz, she just knows what is, what you're paying attention to. What do you give an energetic um, charge to these thoughts that definitely come up. So the subconscious will start to uh, play 
you know, there's things in the subconscious that play that do come into fruition within our life. And those things are, you can identify them as your triggers. Your triggers are going to be your greatest teachers within this life. Doesn't matter how much freaking money you invest in personal development or spiritual development. Your triggers, until you realize that your triggers will be your greatest teachers through life. And you, once a trigger comes up, you stop yourself immediately and you ask yourself what is triggering you and you lift up that stone and you start digging deeper. You're going to find a wealth of things that are going to come up to the surface that are running within your subconscious pattern. And the best way in the, the it, it's been life it's transformed my life so much is through Onoponopono, okay? Because those subcon subconscious patterns, Raz, what she's doing is writing a memo and she keeps spitting them to you, especially if you are having an emotional reaction. There is a charge behind that. If you're not aware of what that charge is, she doesn't know if it's an icky feeling or uh, a happy feeling. If you keep having these lower vibrational emotions come up, she just keeps giving you those memos because you ultimately keep asking for it. So it's important that we really do figure out what is playing in our subconscious patterns. What memos are we getting in? And let's the stuff that is not serving us, the imposter syndrome, perfectionism, money blocks, self-worth blocks, I'm not good enough, all those things that come up in, in your life and in your head, especially if you're stepping into a greater role than yourself, that's where everything's going to come up to the surface because it needs to guys, we need to clear that. And the best way to clear that is through Onoponopono. Now let's talk about how this ties into universal laws and how it's relevant to you. Okay. First, Raz really works a lot with the law of attraction and she so whatever how we manifest guys and we're going to dive in so deep on this topic i can only put so much in 30 minutes but we do have a course that is inside of rise university it's a four-part course about um learning about Onoponopono and really embracing it within your life and business. So we're going to dive deeper into this topic. We're going to, especially this week, this coming Friday, we start part two. We've already done part one last Friday, but um, we'll talk a lot about manifestation and the different other different universal laws, but the law of cause and effect uh, or the law of, um, of attraction uh, that's how Raz operates, guys. So whatever, how we manifest is through impressing the subconscious through visualization and emotion. So if you are playing a scene in your head and you are impressing that with emotion uh, or, you know, fears coming up and that sends you down a spiral of emotion and uh, visualization, then it gets impressed and it manifests within the physical. So paying attention to what is going on in your subconscious and what Raz is doing and clearing out that data by incorporating Onoponopono, then we can uh, get a handle on the law of attraction. And the other law that I would like to discuss is the law of cause and effect, okay? Because when we are mindful and we're in the moment and we're in our experiment experiment and we're paying attention to the energy and how it flows through us and how it's coming up and how we are reacting to that energy that is where the law of cause and effect comes in so let's really examine the connections between these two concepts and universal law so the law of memory and data the, the mind can only have um, two things going on. It's either the law of inspiration, which comes directly into a tune with the universe, the divine, 
the creator and why we are ultimately here and the law of memory and data. The mind cannot have two owners, okay? It's either one or the other. It switches back and forth depending on if you're paying attention. So the law of memory and data is closely linked to the law of cause and effect, and that law states that every action has an equal or opposite reaction. Our thoughts, our feelings, and action are all interconnected to our past experiences and can have a profound impact on our present experiences. So by addressing the negative emotions, we can align ourselves more closely with universal principles, allowing for a harmonious life experience. It's where we can really get into harmony with the universe and co-create. Let me give you an example about how this would play out within your life. I'll, I'll, for me, okay, I had a lot of, I had money blocks guys i had to really do a lot of work on my root chakra and that's because i i had poverty mindset i came from a, a mom a single mom who worked three jobs everything was about paying bills not having enough money yada yada it was just it was my life i grew up in it so i struggled a lot with it it goes hand in hand with self-worth so when I first started out on this entrepreneurial journey and, you know, I'm going to get out there and do it, I realized that I had trouble really putting a price tag on things because I didn't value my self-worth. And I kept shooting myself in the foot, so to say. Every time I would launch a program, I mean, uh, it was the the price would constantly change. I didn't. Pee. I would have clients that would actually come in, and I would I would feel like I wasn't ready. I couldn't charge them uh, what I ultimately wanted to. I mean, it was just, it was a shit show, guys. It was a shit show. And this is why I really help you get clear with these type of things and embrace and tackle and overcome inside of Rise University. But it wasn't until I started to see it at play with, uh, you know, I, I took a moment back. I did some deep shadow work. I, I did some journeying into my lower chakras and into my childhood and did that, that inner childhood, uh, healing and started breaking out of the poverty mindset because the divine does not want us to be in poverty. It wants us to have that divine currency where, you know, you're just going to be taken care of for everything that you need by the universe. So I don't put a price tag on things anymore. I let the divine take care of those things for me. And guys, it has been, it, man, the, the, the success rate and the proven rate is phenomenal. It's over a hundred percent. When I do this, when I lean in, I trust and I get out of that law of memory and data. And I just let the, I co-create with the universe because that is ultimately why I'm here. It always comes through. So the law of cause and effect is really linked to the law of memory and data because that's ultimately where it starts and it manifests within our lives. And you as a magician that has all the elements that they need and everything that you need inside of you to co-create the, the reality that you want to, uh, we are not aware of that because it all starts within the moment. And that's why mindfulness is so important, guys, because in the moment is where all the magic is happening. That's where you are ultimately the magician. So let's dive into Onoponopono. So the ancient Hawaiian practice is based on the idea of interconnectedness. Everything is connected. We're all connected. Everything is alive. Everything gets imprinted quantumly through quantum entanglement, um, you know, where we sit, our chairs, all of that. So this interconnectedness also is a theme in many universal laws. That's, that is 
we are all connected. Okay. So by taking responsibility for our thoughts, our feelings, and our actions, our reactions to those emotions, I'll, I'll tell you about E plus R equals O here in a moment. We can acknowledge the interconnected nature of our experiences and work to align ourselves and with the harmonious principles of the universe. Okay, we can co-create in harmony with the universe as a whole when we start to see that. And the more that you awaken on your journey, you will start to, you'll get to that level of consciousness where you see that at play. So Onoponopono can be seen as a method for aligning with the law of attraction, which states that we are we attract into our lives what we focus on. Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. We need to shift what's happening inside to change what's happening on the outside. So by cleansing your memories and releasing these negative patterns that are at play, we can shift our focus to more positive and harmonious experiences. So where RAS fits in, Raz's role is in filtering and prioritizing sensory information as it relates to the law of vibration, okay, which states that everything in the universe is in constant motion and vibrates at a specific frequency. Our thoughts and emotions also vibrate at a certain frequency, and it's Raz plays a role in determining which vibrations we tune into and focus on. By understanding the role of RAS and incorporating practices like Onoponopono, we can consciously shift our focus to more positive and uplifting vibrations, aligning ourselves with universal laws that do govern our experiences. So, the law of Onoponopono ties into a lot of the universal laws. And I really want to hit deep and let in and embed it into your subconscious that you are the one that is orchestrating your life. So if you are not happy where you're at, if you are pissed off, you're stuck in the matrix, if you are um not happy with where you're living, your what's in your bank account, all of these things start shifting from the inside, guys. Okay, this is excellent uh, podcast to really get you to start thinking on a different level and start viewing things on a different level. When you do shift that, the universe will start calling in different things in your life. If it's not playing out the way that you want to dig deeper, okay definitely dig deeper. So practice, so let's, let me give you some practical tips and techniques for implementing these concepts. Start to share actionable steps and strategies for integrating Onoponopono. Okay. Again, we have a full course. Uh, we're going to be doing part two this week in this Friday inside of Rise University. Okay. And this is, it's going to be a foundational course to what rises as a whole, because the more that you guys really get your mind around this and you start to embody it in your life, it's going to be the I don't like to say tool, but it's going to be your go-to thing to start doing it before you dive into human design, building your business, uh, tackling shadow work, uh, doing that really profound healing within your life, because whatever comes up is a memory. It's data. It needs to go away. We need to ask the divine to come in and tell us, you ask him, take us out of the law of memory and data. I no longer want this to run. I want to be in the law of inspiration. And I have, there's been times guys where it's been a um, flight or fight mode. And I've been able to witness myself 
knowing what to intuitively do while observing on the inside. It was like, oh my God, this is like, this is what animals feel like. It's like animal instincts. My instincts kicked in because I didn't allow memory and data and all this stuff to come up because the experience I was in, it would have been, the old me would have been very easy to say, no, I'm not, this isn't real. I'm not seeing this how it is. Like I was on a, seeing things on a higher dimension where other people couldn't see what was happening and there was some shit going down. And so I, I was grateful that I had the uh, level of consciousness to be able to see what was happening. But also at the same time, if I would have been in my memory and data, it would not have happened that way. I would not have been able to internally witness. It was just like instinct and animal because I was in the law of inspiration and the divine in your higher self always knows. So this definitely um, start to apply the stuff that uh, we've been going over within this podcast. And um, we're going to really dive deep in, in ways on how you can integrate Onoponopono into your life. So uh, some other books that you can dive into uh, outside of taking our courses, there's, oh, oh gosh, guys, you can look up Onoponopono. You can Google search it on the internet. Joe Vitale and Dr. Hugh Lin. That, uh, Dr. Hugh Lin is who I uh, trained under. I went took his uh, certification course and it just absolutely blew my mind. I totally understood how this incorporated into the universal law. So you can find a lot of stuff, a lot of recordings, a lot of his, um, you know, like things that he has recorded in the past on YouTube. You can find stuff. I have a playlist on Spotify if you guys want that. I mean, I, I make Onoponopono water and we're going to um, next week, we're going to dive into a lot of different ways to really integrate this into your life. So if you want more information, definitely let me know. I may attach, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and attach a uh, PDF of all different ways that you can really go further in Onoponopono and start to implement this in your lives. But I really want to encourage you guys to join Rise University and take that one course because it will be life-changing. I really, really, really dig deep into that and how to implement it, not just within your life, but also within your business. So it's uh, uh, Rise University. We have three different memberships, but the copper membership is our basic membership. That is $22 a month. Guys, you get that course and so many other different courses. We're going to be uploading so much information into Rise University. Definitely take advantage of jumping on that. So, in conclusion, the law of memory and data, uh, Onoponopono, and the RAS system, the secretary in our head, all contribute to our understanding of universal law. It illustrates our interconnected interconnectedness of our thoughts, emotions, and our experiences and the world around us by recognizing the impact of our memories and the subconscious patterns that are playing out in our lives. We can actively work on addressing them. We can align ourselves more closely with the harmonious principles that govern the universe and the more we discover who we are on an energetic level, we can co-create with the universe as a whole around us when we understand the universe's energetic levels. So with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. I really enjoyed diving deep into this topic. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite topics for those of you who know me know that it is. And I do want to really encourage you to check out Rise University and everything that we have. Send me any questions that you got about this topic. Share this out, guys. Um, it really does help me. Tag me in your stories. I would love to uh, 
start to share with you, especially if you are a business. I love, um, we have to co-create together. So, uh, that, yeah, I am running out of things to say. That means that the divine wants me to sign off. But yes, definitely, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for tuning into today's topic. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. With that said, you have a beautiful and blessed day. Keep shining your light and making a difference. Until next adventure, I'll see you later. Bye now. Thank you, fellow adventurers, for joining us today on the Awakening Hour podcast. May your hearts be filled with courage and your minds with wisdom as you continue your quest for greatness. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to share it in your stories, tag us, subscribe, and review on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to visit us at Rise University, the Academy for Light Warriors. Until next time, adventurer, may the stars continue to guide you on your journey.